the Carlings, the strongest dynasty back in 867, with kingdoms stretching all over Europe. But in the start date of 1066, their once glorious house has been reduced to Count Herbert, with only 6 living members of the House Carling and 28 living members in the Carling dynasty. It is safe to say that the fall from grace has been a long and hard one. But what if we could turn the clock back and restore the Carolingian dynasty and its great borders to what it once was? My name is Koifish and this is the Carling Restoration. Alright, here we are in the wonderful county of Vermandois, playing as Count Herbert IV, meaning there's been three other poor souls in my dynasty that have also been called Herbert. We are one of the last members of House Carling, a once prestigious house, now reduced to, well, 21 members. Most of them, old women, set to be married off to men that won't even carry the legacy onwards. Meaning, it's up to Count Herbert and Countess Alex to do the deed and spread his seed so that the Carolingian borders he may reclaim and his land he may lead. So our goal will not only be to conquer all of Francia, but to then restore the Carolingian borders and take out the false pretenders of House Salian. Kaiser Heinrich, I'm coming for you! I'm calling you out! WWE style! I'm gonna mess you up! Now with that said, we come from a long line of prestigious rulers. We can trace our lineage all the way back to Arnold Carling, the founder of our house, I think. This old guy died back in 602. He's super old. But of course, some of the really important people in their lineage would be Kaiser Karl, the man they named Carling after, and of course, everyone's favorite, Emperor Pepin of Francia. So what are we waiting for? Let's start plotting to one day reclaim Francia. But before we start the calling revival, this video is sponsored by Call of Dragons, the free-to-play 4x strategy game available for both your PC and your phone. It even has crossplay. Explore the realm of Tamaris with its massive world full of diverse landscapes, from icy tundras to scorching deserts. Choose your faction, cunning humans, fierce orcs, or magical elves. Will your conquest bring peace to this ever-shifting world? Only one way to find out. Engage in colossal battles where you command legions of thousands and team up with over 40 players for real-time strategic warfare in both PvE and PvP. Make tactical decisions that shape the battlefield and lead you to victory. And if all else fails, command mighty dragons to fight for you on the field of battle. Master the 3D terrain of mountains, rivers, and valleys to your advantage. Balancing offense and defense is key. Whether it's fortifying on a plateau, setting ambushes in a valley, or seizing the high ground, your strategic use of the terrain shapes your victory. Call of Dragons combines epic fantasy, strategic warfare, and stunning visuals for an unforgettable gaming experience. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen to start your adventure in Call of Dragons today. And don't forget to use the promo code CODFANTASY to help you get started. Thank you once again to Call of Dragons for sponsoring this video. We get to pick one dynasty. We're gonna have to be very smart about this. You see, just like making an omelette out of the egg of an ostrich, there are many ways to take a kingdom, but all of them are gonna end up very, very messy. Our character is mostly gifted in learning and intrigue, so I'm thinking plotting will be the best way to get our son into a better position. But Rome wasn't built in a day. It most likely took a bunch of days, uh, but we don't have a bunch of days. We have now. Seize the moment. I'm starting to sound a bit like a magnet on your freezer. Our first goal will be to claim the Duchy of Valois. To do this, we're gonna have to face off against a bunch of these pitiful pack counts. So, winning these wars through an alliance would most likely be the best option. But as we need to rebuild the dynasty, we're going to go with bounteous lords in the kin tree. Extra fertility will also continue onwards on the learning lives, as when we get to sanction loopholes, we can use piety to buy a claim on the whole kingdom. So much to do, so little time. Let's start smooching up to the pole. We do have our fellow Carlings helping us in our council. There's my homeboy Pierre. My full-on brother, who's chaste, honest, and brave. You, sir, oh, you're very cool. Let's get you married to someone so that you may spread the seed of the Carlings. We can also get an alliance this way. And what better alliance than that with the future king of England, Duke William the Bastard, soon to be the conqueror. We have Jude's Carling, and uh, my slightly less impressive brother, who is gluttonous, arrogant, and impatient. Wow, there's always a bad apple in the bunch, and I think his name is Jude's. They are related. How? She belongs to House Poitier. Well, everyone is related if you think about it. So let's not think about it. Marry Duke Gilhem, Gilhem the Eighth, 
Oh yeah, his sister. Lastly, we have Adelaide Carling. Adelaide here is my... I don't even know what you are. But you're a Carling. I guess I gotta take care of you. But it would be good to make more Carlings. So what's the best matrilinear marriage we could get? Of course, Godwin son. Son of the current king of England. Or perhaps this Frenchman. Oh yeah, that will do perfect. Now right off the bat, we need to impress the Pope. For the Carlings to make the return, we need to have God on our side. Or as the host motto says, the ancient perseverance is ours. And what is more ancient than God? God is so old that he died. We're going to the Vatican. A worthy goal. Off we go. Look at that alliance. The Duke of Normandy. As I'm traveling down to the Vatican, I feel a tug on the head of my clothes. I turn to look and I see a thin, raggedy man staring up with me. Oh great lord, I beg of you, will you spare me some coat? Cut the man down, he touched my clothing. Away with you, vile beggar. <laughs> How long has it been since I last felt a war from another person against my skin? Other than that beggar that tried to touch me and I autistically stabbed him? How I yearn for the desire of the flesh? Oh my god, Count Herbert! I know we're trying to repopulate the callings, but... Sheesh, Bona! Well, I'm gonna Bona this woman, am I right? God damn! Holy macaroni! Lustful, just like me. Generous, she gives a lot. Sadistic, oh my god! Are we going riding? Or is that crop for someone else? I could visit as many brothels as possible, but uh, listen. One night. One night of comfort. Look at that, huh? We got a very cool courtier. I could even imprison her. But something tells me she'd enjoy that. Oh my god, foul. All the roads lead to Rome. So I just picked one and walked. And I'm now a pilgrim. It's me, Adalbert, my caravan master. And this absolute sizzle-peen cutie that I picked up. Wow. Putting the hole in holy. As I wander around the stalls in the market, avoiding as many local foods as I can. Sir, you might be on the spectrum. <laughs> Come and buy a true relic for a price that would make St. Matthew laugh for decades. The skull of St. John. Yeah, listen. Uh, this doesn't look very authentic. I think you're trying to scam me, huh? All right. Great pilgrimage. Nice bit of piety. I can now ask the Pope for gold. Or even better, ask him for cool claims. But I don't want any of this. I want power. All right, we're finally home. I'm also going to have my brother educate my son. I trust him with my life. He's my chancellor after all. We'll also take some of the prestige we have and make yourself an accolade. Who else but Pierre, the hero of the forest? His name will be the first call. We now have... A very cool acclaimed knight. To claim this man's land, we're going to have to get the Pope to dislike him. We currently have no claims, so pushing up to that duchy would be very beneficial. But there is another way. But it looks like we're helping, oh yeah, King William of England against the Norwegians. Something tells me you'd be alright. Go William, go William, go! Go William, go William, go! Go William! We just picked up a new learning lifestyle perk. We're going to go with learn on the job, giving us 20% of our counselor's primary skills to our own. Next up is the sanctioned loopholes. This will let us straight up buy a claim. No need to ask the Pope, I'll just make the paperwork myself. We can also make the situation a bit more well, messy. By killing King Philip and putting Prince Huge on the throne, who's just a kid. Sadly for me though, killing the king isn't really on the agenda of a lot of people. I'll ask the Pope for a bit of gold. Oh yeah, these funds will bring me victory. <laughs> or even better, these funds will bring me hunting grounds. My court is going on a tour. <gasps> it's the King Philip with the ugliest spear I've ever seen. And he's going to visit Vermandois to inspect my castle. Uh, 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 pre pre we gotta prepare. We gotta prepare. If he's coming over, I, I, we need to impress the king. I mean, I, I knew I was talking about killing him, but he's a useful idiot. By God, Alessandro is my son? That, that my one-time acquaintance with Bona? Oh my lord. I have a little baby boy? Yeah, listen. Of course you can stay here. That's totally my kid, bro. Oh my god, that's a calling. Yeah, we're gonna have to get him educated. Don't ask me why I'm educating this random court here. And why he looks like me. Alright. We picked up sanctioned loopholes. This will let us buy claims. For example, our neighbors. We can simply buy a claim on them for 250 PT. Instead of having to wait for our bishop to fabricate one. But we'll hold off on any war fighting. As we've just gotten a little niece. Little Stephanie Carl. Darling, look at you! And I've got a daughter! Little Helen! Helen Calling! Better a Helen Calling than a Helen Keller, am I right? I like my hearing. I barely have it to begin with. Oh, uh, King Philip will no longer be coming to visit you on his royal tour. Well, uh, that's sad. I was sort of, I was sort of excited for that. Did I just get cucked out of a uh, visit by the king? Oh my god. I hate him. That's it. I'm gonna disrupt his realm. We're going to take the area of Clermont. But first, we'll pick up some, oh yeah. 
Bowman. Oh yeah, the King of England is now the King of England. Hello Conqueror, we outnumber this man quite fairly. We're going to buy a claim for 250 piety. And then right away, we're going to go at it. Give me your land. Raise the lads and bring all of the Vikings. We're gonna need them. Adalbert is a great commander. So hopefully we should be able to win this. The Battle of Noyon. It's evenly matched. But no, we lost a knight, Rodrigo. No, Major Gilbert. Oh, this is bad. It seems we're getting our bottoms handed to us. We could call in an alliance. The Duke of Aquitaine would do perfectly fine. I was hoping it wasn't gonna come to this, but blood bonds are useful. The Duke of Flanders wants to marry my spy master? Uh, fine. Go ahead. What happened to your previous husband? He died, but he did sire one kid. Well, it ain't looking too good for you, sir, as I've gotten. That's right, the army of dwarves. You're about to feel the wrath of a thousand carlings. Or at least three of them. No, Yudes! Yudes, my brother! Oh, well, it's a brother I don't really care about, but he became a metal man. That's not good. That's not good at all. Well, let's get Pierre, my favorite brother, married to the princess of England. Boom! War one. We'll squeeze as much gold out of him as possible by ransoming back his kids. And just like that, we've taken a beautiful little county. The Carling Realm grows and prospers. Like to make the duchy, we're going to need two areas more. And I think I know exactly who to take them from. Count Raoul. We'll buy a claim on both his titles and work to quickly increase the power of our army. We've also been invited to the spy master of Aquitaine's hunt. Yeah. Of course I'm gonna go. And we became a scholar. A wonderful lifestyle trait that increases the hostile scheme success chance by 10 and personal scheme success chance by 10. Wonderful. We're now going to shift over to family focus as we still need to bolster our ranks. My goal for this hunt will be to befriend Duke Gilhem, the spy master of this realm. This man is humble and temperate. Oh, uh, well, it seems he doesn't want to become my friend. Awkward. But I've gotten a son! Of course, his name will be Carl. Well, the hunt was a massive failure, so we're just gonna leave. But we did get the hunter perk. We now have a whopping 650 troops. We can even squeeze out a few more. Adele Carling? My daughter in war. Do you want to marry Yudes of Borgon? No, I have no idea who you are. You can't just rock up and ask for the hand of my daughter. You have to be a bit clever. Maybe like, bring me a cake first. All right, my Jewish court physician just randomly tells me, hey bro, there's a bunch of birds out here. Well, I guess we're gonna have to go kill him. But first, we're gonna kill bigger birds. Raise our army and march on Valois. And of course, we'll call in the Aquatinians again. No use in fighting fair. And I became the master of the hunt? Why, cause I saw a bird once? All right, time for a proper big fight. Oh my God, his allies totally left him. Pitiful. Well, that certainly made the war a bit easier for me. Aha! Caught them just as the siege was about to trigger. But what's this? A civil war nearby? Peasants? A and even better. <laughs> it seems we captured the man. We're going to simply enforce the bands. I get the county of Valois and the city of Crepy. It's a bit creepy. Lovely. Our realm has grown. Quite significant. Now let's ransom back these prisoners. And stop asking for the hand of my daughter. The calling name carries sway. That is short to say. And I guess I'm gonna go hunting again. Hey, a free perk. Nice. Let's go with the befriend scheme. This is super powerful. As it lets us become friends with rulers. Like perhaps becoming friends with the Pope. It would be tricky, but I'll give it a try. I missed the hunt. Oh, come on. I was almost there. You could have let me join in the end, like shoot a bird or something. Oh, well, I host a hunt of my own. And my son became a decent diplomat. Lovely. We need to be smart on who he marries to. Alliances are very important, but also prestige gain. We could marry off to the last of the house, Moonsa, a glorious house. That would give us 700 prestige. We can also marry him to, to our own dynasty. But we will go for House von Luxembourg. Ah, that's a more nearby hunt. I know we have a thing we're doing, but hunting is very important for the Carlings. We'll once again try to befriend the spy master. Well, it didn't work and the hunt totally failed. Wow, why do you guys even hunt? You guys suck. Oh, uh, well, I have to acknowledge Alessandro. And not only that, he's also a Carling. Let's go. Carling? Carling? <laughs> well, uh, I didn't become friends with the Pope, but he is willing to keep funding me money, which is nice. To offset this, however, we're going to have to go on more pilgrimages. Luckily, Cologne is very close. Well, uh, that's not good. I'm kind of dying. My wound is so infected. Hopefully, I uh, don't die. Because if I die, that means I die here in Kent. Imagine being laid to rest in Kent. I would rather die. Well, I have arrived back home, but uh, I'm a bit worried about my health. Oh, wait. 
I'm fine again. My wound is oh, my wound is healed. Thank the Lord. Praise the heavens. Now we fight. No. Now we hunt. I haven't forgotten about the pheasants. Oh, they're gone. No. 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 <laughs> my son, Yudes, runs in and tells me that they call me Count Herbert the Disgraceful. Why? You are from a reputable family, but I failed to live up to expectations. Bro, I'm trying my best. I'm 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 trying to bring honor to the calling name. Ah, oh, I'm getting stressed and offended in real life. That's it. I'm gonna teach myself Latin, huh? How about that? Oh my lord, what Polesine? The king of, of Polesine? What in the gosh darn happened here? The Holy Roman Empire, it, it's totally splintering. I've never heard of this. I was like Polynesia, but no. Well, uh, someone's trying to kill me, but I don't know who. We should probably get the heart of the family perk to get my family to like me a bit more. I do not have any rivals. Quite opposite. I have some friends. Changing up my spy master could be good. My son is surely to protect me in case something happens. But my son is ill. Oh no. I also have another sneaking suspicion. It could be my Jewish doctor. We're going to replace him, Hungifu, an Anglo-Saxon doctor. And then promptly dismiss him. Get out of here. Get out of here. Hey. All right. It's wartime. I'll show you. Disgraceful and incompetent. Who dare you call that? I'm a good man. I'm a great fighter. Oh my lord. I'm losing. It. Oh, we won. Oof. Get out of here. This is my land. Ooh, a gift from Countess Alex, my wife. She gives me a carpet? Wife? Wife, why do we need a carpet? I mean, she does like me. I've been a bit unfaithful, but damn. You saw the woman yourself. You can't blame me for wanting to tap that Italian. I've been invited to a grand tournament. Horse racing and dueling. Although I'm not very proficient at it, this could be a good way for me to regain some of my lost honor. Yeah, of course I'll go. What? We've been defeated? No. No, oh, that is it. Go Call in the Aquitinians, quick! He even killed Matthew! Oh well, if we are to qualify, we need to do something. I'm gonna pray to God. It didn't work. God damn it! But I guess I could pick up a few knights. And I can play some bets. We'll go for the underdog. I win! The underdog won! Let's go! Well, we're gonna have to bet again. We'll go for the underdog. Always bet on the underdog. Well, I did lose my wager, but... I got to see King William the Conqueror beat someone up in a duel. Beautiful. I swear to God, if we don't get help soon, we're gonna lose. I'm gonna have to call in a bigger ally. The King of England, help! It did cost me a bunch of prestige, but uh, it will save my hide. Here comes the Englishman! Surprise! <laughs> the land is mine. Thank you very much. All right, we now hold enough land to make the Duchy of Valois. All we need now is gold. And luckily, I know how to get that. Please bankroll me. And just like that, we have become a glorious duke. And we solve our prestige problem. Ah, how about that, huh? Duke Herbert isn't as disgraceful anymore, is he? But that mustache, that is a crime. What happened to my... Oh my god. Alex, you tried to kill me. No, my son, Nudes. Your mommy, your mommy is a murderer. That is it. Into the prison you go. She, she runs away. Oh, you vile renegade woman. But where to? Nowhere, I guess. <laughs> you should have ran further. Please, please, let me divorce this woman, like, so bad. I could torture her, but I don't feel like her, her, my, my kids would like that. Could behead her. Feel like, my, feel like my kids would not really appreciate, hey, I, 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 I killed mom. Oh my god, listen, we're gonna go the high route. Divorce this woman, this uh, Harry, this Harlot Doxy, and I will marry someone. A carlage? <laughs> no. No, I want to sire strong children. Children with wonderful traits. How about this wonderful Dutch woman? Oh my god, what a hottie. Send the proposal. All right, let's start making some babies. I'm gonna seduce my wife. A courier, a courier comes with bleak tidings. My son, Alessandro. No, the Italian. No, that's not fair. That's it. I'm gonna stop eating. Not gonna eat anything. Shun food. Food is cringe. Gosh darn it. Life is not fair. Life is not fair. And now I'm ill. Hungifu, fix me up, woman. What? What did you do? She rubs a severed hand on my... No! I'm dying! But I... On my last dying bed, I managed to impregnate the Dutch woman. I'm no longer ill. And I became the Chancellor of France. The, fr the Franzler? <laughs> 
Well, uh, I wasn't able to seduce my wife. That's sad. That means I got friend zoned. Let's go. And we've gotten a son. A, a handsome little boy. This is Herbert. Herbert, the non-disgraceful. Oh yeah, we're making more carlings. Now we need to be clever. We want to gain a big claim on this guy. We could request a claim, but he's too much liked by the Pope. What we do need is more power. I could become the regent of France, but we could also try to kill him. Devious, perhaps, but we will play this slowly. Take our time and marry off little youths. There you go, youths. We'll keep asking the Pope for gold. And with this money, we will build up a realm. A realm so powerful that... One day, we won't have to beg the Pope for money. <laughs> I've got a friend in you. you got a friend in me. And, and we have a kid together. Oh my lord, is this not just every man's dream? Wholesome Dutch women that you can have children with and hang out. Talking about hanging out, Carl Carling is a very gregarious little boy. You, my son, you're my true heir. Damn, I wish I could be more like you. Talking about becoming friends with people, I'm gonna befriend. That's right, we're having another shot at it. The... Ah, they won't let me. Oh well, um, uh, what about befriending the spy master? I mean, I've tried it a few times, but right now I'm at war with it. Immensely so. But now the war is over, so I can finally start becoming friends again. And Polisine has split off with Tuscany? Meaning if I... Oh, I'm sorry, King, but I have to do this. I mean, I'm doing this to right the wrongs of the universe. Not because I actually want to kill him. If I can kill this man, then Matilda... Ah! It was God! It was Jesus who struck me down for talking about killing someone. But now Duke Yudes ascends the throne. Energetic and collected, Yudes will surely improve the realm under his rule. I'm 26 and the realm totally held. I'm married to Ser Hilda, a decent woman. And I have an education in diplomacy. Wonderful. It seems once again we're going for the family tree, which could be great. As we desperately need more kids. I'll stack my council and keep my mother who tried to murder my father as my spy master or spy mistress. We have the traits diligent, callous, and fickle. All traits wonderful for one use and one use only. <laughs> Killing people. We have, however, lost some of our realm to Herbert and Carl. But we will not resent our brother. We are Carlings. We need to stand united. You know what happened last time the Carlings started fighting? It didn't go well. I do start with a 3,200 pot of prestige, meaning I could easily become the regent of France. It does put me in a pretty awkward situation. I do not hold any claim to the throne of France. But luckily, there is a way to get one. I'm gonna smoosh the Pope so hard that he has to give it to me. We'll get an alliance with King Philip, our leech. And we hope to work the man from the inside out to gain more power. I could petition him, but I would hold off. Oh my lord, that my leech would trust me to educate it Almudis? <laughs> well, that's good to see. I'm respected. I am liked. I'm also a scholar. And I play the Pope in chess. I lose. And the Pope likes me a bit more. If I can get him to like me even more, then I'm sure that a claim on the Kingdom of France wouldn't be too far off. But perhaps even better, if he was to die. I'll try it. Uh, actually, I won't try it. That seems very foolish to kill him. If only the realm could be divided somehow. Perhaps I'll send in my mother, Alex, to find secrets in Paris. Speaking the truth is just being honest. Even if that means the downfall of an entire realm. <laughs> the Pope absolutely loves me. I can ask for gold and it wouldn't even make a dent in my opinion with this man. But his health is fine, so he'll most likely rule for a long while. We could become King of Lofaringia. That is one of our titles. We're supposed to hold this. Perhaps that's exactly what we'll do. Do not worry. Lotharingia shall soon be calling realm once more. Give me that claim. That means we will have to fight the entire Holy Roman Empire. Perhaps if we were to get some kids. I'd rather see if we could get another wife than someone that is chased. I'm gonna have to do it. I'm so sorry, woman. I'm sure you are lovely, but I'm gonna bribe my mom so we can kill my wife. Things you say when you play Crusader Kings. Wonderful. I'll also ask for an additional donation of gold from God. Thank you, God. And then be really clever. What alliances? can we invoke? Ooh, little facts here and there. I'll blackmail anyone I can. These hooks will be able to be used to call people into murders, hopefully. And wife, you know what they say, until death do us apart. Uh, problem is everyone figured out that it was me, so uh, not only did I murder her, I also murdered a woman of my dynasty. That's embarrassing. That's really embarrassing. <laughs> oh, oh, could I, uh, hello, Pope, could I absolve for my sins, please? Well, I will have to get a new wife now. The strongest alliance I could get is marrying into House Canossa, Duchess Matilda. She has 4,000 troops. That's pretty huge. She's also nearby to the Holy Romans. 
making her a great ally to, to making her a great ally to capture it. But I need children. Slavonia. This absolute oh, she's 15. Koi fish. Take it easy now before you say anything. Get married first. There you go. She's now of age. God damn! A Croatian hottie. Yeah, we're getting married. We also have the King of France to help us. With these two alliances, we should be able to face him. We also have Eudes, my uncle. That's an alliance. We will wait for this war to be over. Let him fight England. And then we swoop in. With that said though, I could really, really use a kid. Let's seduce our wife. Oh, oh. The king figured out that I was spying on him. A simple mistake. Don't worry. My mom is just shopping over there. So, and soon someone's gonna be shopping your head off if I'm not too careful. Something tells me my father would have liked that. <laughs> I am now lovers with my creation wife. Wonderful. Hopefully this means we'll get some kids soon. We'll also build some mango nets. This will help us siege down the holdings of the Lotharingians. Let's go! Why pregnant? Glorious! Little Herbert. But no, that is not his son. Carl Carling. The ultimate Carling. And through his bloodline, we will earn ourselves one more alliance. That of the mighty Poles. We now have a whole lot of alliances. And with the power between these, we should be able to take him down. But alas, waiting for his demise is perhaps the best course of action. But there seems to be another, another war. We're going to Bulgaria? Of course we'll help. The Basilius is a fat, unbearded Greek bogolomist. That is it. The title shall go to Helen Carling. Stephanie, you are a true Carling. I will pay for you and I will make you queen of Bulgaria. I will also kill this pitiful husband of yours. And when the whole world is busy fighting the Bulgarian, the Carling shall reclaim his lands. <gasps> but the Kaiser! He's almost dead. No, but my mother! A crusade for Bulgaria! Deus vult! Raise the armies! I must become a crusader! Go, go, go! Think it's possible? Could we siege down Constantinople ourselves? The madman is going for it! No, we can't even siege it down at all! Another daughter, but alas! You might not see your father! I'm fighting in the crusades and- No! We got caught! And our home is stack wiped. Just like that, our, my crusader dreams crushed? Well, I'm gonna raise my troops once more and head in. Here we go, siege faster, siege faster! No, not again! And this time I'm captured by- No! David the Dukes! I can't believe it! Let me out! And now Count Karl, my brother and spy master is trying to take over my country, stop! I love how the AI can't handle crusades. It's- The game is called Crusader Kings and the system for crusades is broken. God has abandoned us and the fat man wins. Please, for the love of God, just let me go. I don't want to be stuck in Bulgaria. Ah, Count Karl, you're taking over my land as I'm off here. My friend Captain Magnus of the Franconian Company? Oh, that is it, brother. I dismiss you as regent. Oh, Lord in heaven. He almost took over my country while I was gone. We have to be smart now. The emperor, he lies poor and dying. As soon as he falls, I sweep in and take his land. And with my two new children, Mahut... And Gerberge, I can gain more powerful alliances. The Scots and the Venetians. You die already, you old Kaiser. You hold the land of my forefathers. And boom, just like that. I am the Patriarch. Wonderful. Now we'll jump over to strategy. We need to win this. My brother invites me to a feast. Of course I'll come. I've been very stressed lately, so this could be good for my mental health. And why not? I'll try to seduce my sister. We need to make more callings after all. <laughs> a lovely feast. Sitting opposite of my sister. Uh, I can't help to tell that her yidis are massive. And, uh, well, uh, I, I bite seducively into the apple. Why, youths? Oh, my lord. Don't do it. Oh, my lord. Uh, my sister is banging Mayor Gargamel. Why would you do this? That's not the sister I'm trying to bang, right? <laughs> well, I shall leave. Uh, my wife is pregnant, so I must go home and celebrate. What a lovely feast. Oh my lord, my son, Carl Carling. He so far is ambitious. And we got another dynasty legacy. We'll continue onward with constant care. Fewer complications during pregnancy means that more Carling women survive. We also get a disease resistance medium bonus, as well as plus 10 to spouse opinion. And a daughter, Marine. But Marine is sickly. Oh. Oh, this man, Khalid Muhammad, means business. The jihad has come to us, and judging what we did last crusade, 
Yeah, it's not gonna work out for us. My Catholic family. Well, this is a bit odd. I'm going to try to seduce my sister. The love a brother feels for his sister can never be wrong. Uh, that's kinda goofy. I'm gonna lay with her once, uh, because banging your sister is like drinking alcohol beer. Wait, no, that, that doesn't make sense. King Gottfried of Lothering is the house head. That is it, that is it. We must act. You fat little meatball. Look at you, inbred, ugly bastards. I'm racking up enough alliances to topple a kingdom as soon as the emperor lies dead i shall kill you oh my god i can't believe it twins adalbert and arkambaud two strong and brutish sons i shall teach them in war both of them shall be taught in war make my boys good nights and tell them good night i love you kids now please for the love of god Kaiser, die! The king is dead! And his grandson takes the throne. The namesake of him, but also... There's a brave plot to destroy the realm of France. Duke Gaston d'Aquitinian hopes that he's to dissolute all of the Frenchmen. No. Why did it have to be him? Why not the Roman? And my son has grown up. Call calling. A river, but, but kind of depressed. That's sad to see, man. We're also going to break off this betrothal because, uh, yeah, you're not really offering the alliance that I thought you were offering. You know what I mean? Marry this woman. Of lower birth, sure, but Catherine de Marseille is a bright mind. He's dead. The Kaiser is dead. And in his stead, a boy king of 40 years old, not really a boy king rules. Meaning I will easily be able to claim Lotharingia for my own. We must. Nay, we will. Give me the kingdom or give me death. Quickly, we call our allies. The Scotsmen. The, the different Scotsmen. The Doge of Venice. What happened to all our great alliances? Either way, this is our chance. This is what we have to work with. Wait, it's my nephew that's the king of France. That's a bit odd. He's a capet, but... I, oh well, I will. I won't question it. We have to pray that our alliances will be able to best this man. He's busy in a different war, fighting off the Valachians, trying to reclaim relics from their past. I shall march towards his capital, and I shall do it swiftly. Come, Scotsmen, brave fighters, clansmen of all. Another set of twins, let's go! Francois and Charlotte, we are making enough callings, well, to make up an entire dynasty. Let's go! Keep sieging, come on. We can do this. You want to give me vassals? Two vassals? All right, thanks. I guess he's giving me the vassals belonging to his duchy, but that's his duchy. We do not question it. We fight. Keep sieging. Lotharingia is rightfully ours. It belongs to the Carlings. Keep sieging. Keep fighting. Oh, Lord, he has so many troops. But perhaps if we go together, we can crush him. Go, go. The Battle of Luxembourg. Hussah! Hussah! Beat him up! Claim their holdings! Oh god! Oh my oh my god! I slipped out of the bathtub, but just barely fell. Oh my lord! And I'm fighting a kid now? That's it! We gotta keep holding! Keep taking land! Lest I slip in the tub again and die! I've told you, the tub is my biggest enemy. Siege faster! Bit of a siege master if you think about it. He's trying to claim back his land, but if I'm quicker, then we can force him to do a piece. But Arkenbaud has pneumonia! Fix him! No! No! Survive, little boy! Lest your twin be without a brother! A hundred percent war score! After almost 50 years, it is time for the Carlings to once more rule Lotharingia. Enforce the mods! Lotharingia! Let's go! Carlings, independent once more! Now, we have the option to restore the Carolingian borders. The dream of Charlemagne of a united Europe was unraveled by his sons and the pettiness of German princes. Yet it can still come true if the Franks unite under this single purpose. To do this, we need a lot of fame. All of Francia, which is this huge empire. Frisia, Lotharingia, Bavaria, Germany. Oh, it's a whole lot of land, but it can be done. We have now taken the first step in this great direction. And somehow my brother knows that I've f***ed our sister. Oh no! Fine, I'll accept the blackmail. But look at this! I can vassalize my nephew! France, it's been dissolved! 
It could bear the pressure. We must bring in the Frenchman under our fold. Quickly, quickly! The Carlings will rule once more. Do not fear, do not fret. I shall quickly eat up these duchess and duchesses and bring them under the rightful leadership. And I shall do so quicker by resetting my perks and going all the way down to true ruler. And just like that, I can vassalize even more neighbors. Join me, friends, join me. So many vassals, so much power. Even though it hurts to have them join with low obligations, it will make a very stable and easy to control realm. And right now, I don't need money. I just need land. Join one, join all, join me. I couldn't have had any better luck. The French exploding and me becoming the Lotharingian king. Burgundy, join me. Toulouse, what do you have to lose? I'll play you in a, I'll play you in a board game. The king of Scotland dedicated an artifact to me? Well, it's gonna be interesting to see what it is. Was it done? Hope it's something dignified. Have I be invited to my marshal's wedding? Of course I'm gonna come. Let's go! What a beautiful wedding! Congratulations to you, my friends. What a beautiful wedding. I'm so glad I could have attended. I am, after all, the rightful king of all the Lotharingian lands. But King Gaston, he ate Toulouse before I could get it. You sly dog. We're fighting over the last bits here. I'll send a gift of gold to this man. That will make him join. Every gold we spend here in diplomacy is a gold we save in warfare. Ah, I'm having a bath again, but... Oh, damn it! I'm starting to slip. Take it slow and uh, take it safe. Oh my god, I'm so stressed. I can't even have a bath anymore without being in danger. I have come a long way from being a beautiful king. I am now reduced to being terrified of bathtubs. No, the king of Scotland died. Please play tell. You finished the dedication to me. I guess we'll never know what artifact he wanted to make for me, huh? We'll never know. And with this great calling W, we will have a new accolade before. By none other than... Adalbert, a peasant wearing a priest hat, of course, is an idealist charmer, and he is the knight of Lofaringia. Wonderful! I now control this bountiful land. I've restored one of the four kingdoms of my great dynasty, but yet there is more work to be done. The Carolingian borders must be restored, and the house is up to 22 members, but we are looking for a hundred souls strong. Will King Utes be able to control the realm he's just taken, and get vengeance on the vile King Gaston and his stupid mustache? Will the Englishmen be driven out back to their island, as House Fitzpeter has laid claim to Norman lands and Flanderian shores. All this and more in the next episode of the Carling Dynasty Revival. This has been Koifish playing Crusader Kings as the beautiful Carling Dynasty. Hope you liked it. If you did, leave a like and consider subscribing as it really helps out the channel. And thank you once again to Call of Dragons for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check out this epic game full of mighty heroes, strategy and dragons. Click the link in the description or scan the QR code to start your adventure in Call of Dragons today. And remember to use the promo code COD Fantasy to help you get started. Oh, and I've heard from good sources that people that actually subscribe to Koifish feel 10% happier every time they hear the word yeet. But until next time, my friends, yeet!